Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of a slightly better tutorial for Hearts of Iron 3. In this video we will be focusing on the diplomacy aspect of the game. To get to the diplomacy screen, either click the diplomacy button up here in the top of the screen, or select a zone and click the flag of that country. For starters, let's go up to the upper left hand of this window. These are filters for all the countries below. So say I want to find the Soviet Union. Now the Soviet Union was part of the Comitern Pact. So I would press Comitern and here you can see all the nations associated with that alliance. So here we have the Soviet Union. Let's click that. Okay, let's go over a few things that aren't that obvious what exactly it is. So first of all, we have the transit rights. Now, the transit rights are basically, you are not allied, but they allow you to cross your borders. For example, you know Sweden was neutral during World War II, but still German troops were able to cross its lands. This is exactly what it is. We can either give transit rights or ask for transit rights. To the right you can see a triangular shaped diagram that displays where the different countries are politically. Lower, lower right is Axis, lower left is Comitern or Soviet Union, and the to the top is the Allies. To join one of these factions your country's flag has to be right at one of these peaks. Now to get there you can use the align to faction um, option. This makes us drift a certain amount of points towards that faction each month. But remember all the other factions can influence you to drift towards them as well. The buy production license option is basically that we are leasing one of their units that they are lending us their expert as expertise one of the designs if you call it that for example the Soviet Union I might want to buy a Kiev class destroyer from them and that is exactly what I would do if I picked this option The allow depth option is basically that during wartime we will not pay for the for the supplies that we buy from them. We will do that after the war is over. Now, basically, you you can do this after 1942. Then the war will, when the war is over, you will stop playing anyway. So this is a good option when you're noticing your economy is taking it. Uh, the war is taking a toll on your economy and uh, you simply need more supplies. But you have to have good relations with, uh, with the country in question. And that brings us to the relation. If you go up right here to the flag, the Communist Party flag and the Soviet Union, you can see current relations. Right now it's zero, but it isn't minus either. It can go below. And that is bad, because then they really hate us. In the last video we spoke about resources. In the dipl Diplomacy tab, you can offer trade agreements to other countries if you are in need of extra supplies. The resources you will be using for purchasing, uh, let's say, supplies are the money. And you can see here, if you want to buy something, simply click buy and the slider will move left or the right if you're selling or buying. Now, since the Soviet Union doesn't like us very much, they will not sell us anything. You will simply have to find a country that likes you to some degree, and uh, then you can manage this trade much better. If you think going into every single country and trying to trade with them is a bit of a hassle, you can always check automate trade this will make the AI do it for you, meaning that they will balance out your resources uh, automatically and accept trade agreements that they see fit. 
Okay, so that is all of the non-obvious things. I will just quickly go over the rest. So you have declare war, which is declaring war. Offer alliance, which is you offer an individual alliance between two, uh, your country and another. It's not, you know, joining a faction. Proclaim guarantee is that you're guaranteeing a country's independence. You're telling them if you get attacked, we will help you. And uh, this means that if somebody attacks them, they will request you to join the war. Join faction is when you have reached one of these peaks, you can ask to join either the Allies, Axis or Committee. Embargo is that you simply do not trade with a country, you stop all trading with them. Lend-lease options are basically they lend you some of their industrial capacity meaning that you will have a higher production rate this is to simulate the, the lend lease act that the US enacted to help Britain in the war effort okay so you can see that the Clare war is grayed out this is because our neutrality is 75 our neutra the neutrality that decides if you can declare war or not. If the threat of them is higher than our neutrality, then we can attack. Neutrality is lowered by events or building up a massive army. Sometimes different laws can affect it as well. Okay, and if you want to bypass this window completely, you can always check AI control right up here up in the right hand corner of this window okay guys that's it for this video the next one will be about production hope you learned something and I will see you next time